Hello, welcome to Tim Anderson Horse Training. Today we're going to be working with this horse that just came in. He is a, a yearling. Uh, he's a year old. And they weaned him off of his mama when they brought him here. We got to get him halter broke. We've got to get him so he'll pick up his feet. He doesn't pick up his feet. And we've got to get him so that they can just do general care and, and basic training that, that needs to be done with every horse. So what we're gonna do, he needs to get a lot broker for me walking up to him and touching him. He needs to get a lot broker for just general things happening around him. When they brought him, they kinda was able to lead him a little bit. Really wasn't a whole lot. They had a halter and lead rope on him, but he basically followed treats. He really wasn't leading. So what I wanna do, I wanna start with, is I'm gonna see if he'll let me pet his chest or pet his neck. If he's not going to let me pet his neck, I'm going to put a little pressure on him and make him move his feet forward. And we're going to see what we get from there. And I'll talk to you about what I'm seeing and what I'm doing. And what I do is going to be in response to what he does. I have a, a dressage whip with me. Basically, I want him to understand that that's not going to hurt him. I'm not going to hit him with it. I will I'll scratch him with it, but I'm also going to use it to get him to move forward. At some point, he's going to need to be lunged, and he needs to understand the concept of what a lunge whip is. So we start that now. We start some basics of his handling now, and we start some basic groundwork now. So what I'm going to start by is walking up to him and see if he'll let me scratch him. That was pretty nice. Now with this crop, I'm scratching him with the handle. He's a little bit worried about it. This end that's kind of flopping around, now I'm gonna make him go forward. Send him forward. I'm not gonna hide the end of that crop from him. He needs to understand that it's just part of the crop. It's not hurting him in any way. Good boy. And I'll walk away. Scratching him with that handle feels good to him. So I wanna give him a reason to want to be with me and I want him to understand that this crop is not going to hurt. Now that was his right side. I'm going to ask him to move. Part of all this, he has to move out of space and I want to do the same thing on his left side. There we go. Now right here, I've lost his attention. He's on that horse. So what I gotta do is drive him forward, get his attention back on me. See now, he's more comfortable with me on his right eye than he is his left eye because of the work we just did. I need to get his left eye, we need to do the same work. Scratch on him, put my hand, rub on him with the whip. Good boy. I want to rub all over. I want him to know that nothing's going to hurt him and things can be nice. Good boy. And walk away. Now let's go back to the other side. It's just as important that I teach him to drive away as it is that I teach him to want to, the touching, to want the scratching. He's got to want to be scratched. He's got to understand that it's not going to hurt him. But he also has to drive away. Good boy. Now that I've got him where he's letting me do this pretty good, the next step is to work on his legs. We want to get where we can pick his feet up. He's never had his feet picked up before. I want to make sure that he's comfortable with his feet being touched before I even put my hand down there. When he looked down, I gave him a little tick and a little flick with the lunge whip to get his attention back on me. Basically, I just said, hey, pay attention. We're doing something. Go back and scratch on him. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lunge whip and just kind of rub down his leg. See, as soon as I touched his leg, he walked forward. 
he's not comfortable with it yet, when his feet get still, I'll take the pressure away and scratch on it. I'll do that again, I'll rub on his legs. And release. When his feet got still, I release the pressure. Driving back forward. Hey. This buddy in the next stall is looking to see what we're doing. He knows all this already. So now he's backing up. I haven't stopped scratching him. But what I want to do is I want to send him forward. Now we'll do it again. Hey. I know that horse over there is a distraction. I'm not too worried about it right now. He needs to listen to me no matter what distractions are going on. That's going to matter later. Now let's rub down his back legs. That was good. Now let's ask him to move. All right, moved away the better that time. We'll do the same thing with the other side. Scratch on him first. Rub down his legs. Scratch on his legs. Rub down his back legs. And walk away. Now I'm going to send him forward here. He's trying to ignore me. He's trying to ignore me and engage with that horse over there. I want him to engage with me. So I'm going to have him move his feet a little bit. I don't need to be aggressive about it. He just needs to move his feet. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. So now that I'm, he's letting me do this to a point, he understands that I'm not hurting him. Not totally where it needs to be, but he understands that it's not hurting him. We're going to raise the bar a little bit, and I'm going to swap to, instead of working him with the dressage whip, that horse stuck his head over and surprised him. Instead of working him with the dressage whip, I'm going to use a lariat rope. I'm not going to rope him. I'm not going to do anything like that. This is a, a bigger item. It makes a different noise. It has a different feel. And it's something else to get him sacked out to. He needs to understand that even though it can make noise and it can be a little scary, it also can be good, feel good because it can scratch. I'm going to stay with him until see right there he's trying to ignore me and he's trying to ask for his buddy for help his feet get still I'll stop and drive him back forward good boy Feet get still, I'll stop. Now let's work the other side. Just like the lunge whip or dressage whip or anything else, this Larry is just a tool. It can be used to send him forward. It can be used to scratch. It can be used for a whole bunch of things. He's trying to push into my space right there. What I'm going to do is just kind of stay with him, and when his feet get still, I'll stop. Good boy. Now the next thing to do with the lariat rope, I'll let an end be a little bit longer. Make him move his feet. He's backing away from me. I'll make him move his feet. When he gets still, I'll stop. He's looking for help, just like if he was looking for his mama. He's, he should have been weaned several months ago. He's had his mama way longer than he should have. 
So he is big and should be way more mature than he is. He's still looking for a buddy. He's still looking for help. Now I'm going to put an, enough pressure on him that he looks for help, but I'm going to do it in a way that he wants to come to me for help. As right now, we just need to get him good and ground broke so we can get every all the groundwork done with him for now. Still a long time before he's going to be saddled and ridden, but everything we do now has to be working in that direction because eventually he's going to be a saddle horse. So even though what we're doing now, he's, he's young, but we're working that direction. We have to keep that in mind. Let that rope be a little longer. He's looking for help. Hey, I'm over here. Your help is over here. Pay attention to me and I'll help you. There we go. Good boy. I like what he did right there. I took the pressure away. I saw that light bulb come on in his head. His ears went to me and right there he started licking. He's understanding what's going on. He's understanding this isn't hurting. He might not be totally happy with it, but he understands that it's not hurting him. So now I got that rope a little bit longer. It's going to touch him in some different places. His feet get still. I'm going to walk away. Almost. There we go. Now let's work the other side. He still wants me on that one side. We got we got to work the left too. That goes to show you how you need to work both sides of the horse. No matter what you're doing, you have to work both sides of the horse. Right now, he's more comfortable with me on his right than he is on his left. I, at this point, I'm really careful so that I keep this lariat rope on the side that I'm on. What I don't want to have happen is have that loose end flop over to the other side and surprise him and cause him to jump into my space. So I want it bigger. I want it touching him in different places, get him used to it, but I want to keep it on the same side that I'm on. Good boy. Much better with his feet than when we started. I'm letting this rope make a little noise. It's kind of bouncing on him a little bit. The end of that tassel is hitting him under the belly. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm going to make sure I stay out of a place where he can kick. Good boy. Now that was his right side. That's the side we've been working over here. That is his better side. I need to be able to do the same thing on his left side. Let's see if we can drive him over. Get on his left. So he's trying to keep me on his right eye. It's really where he's more comfortable. Let's move over a little bit. Now let's do the same thing again on this side. I'm going to let this tail hang down a little longer. Rub him all over. Rub down his legs. Under his belly. This horse might, might never and probably will never be a rope horse. But if I'm trail riding this horse and we get a limb stuck up between his feet, I want to make sure that he's not going to panic over it, that he's used to having stuff in his feet. There we go. Nice progress. I know I can get the halter on him, and I know I can get the halter and lead rope on him, but he needs to learn some more things before I start putting a halter and leading him around. He needs to be more comfortable with things around his feet. He needs to be a little bit uh, less reactive to things around him. When we get less reactive, he's giving his head to me, and I'm able to handle his feet. Then I will start haltering him and leading him around. In my opinion right now, he needs to be handled a lot more before I'd ever halter him and lead him. So I'll be doing some more videos on him. I'll show you his progress and where we get to. And uh, I think he's going to end up being a pretty nice horse, but we've got a lot of work ahead of us. 
Until next time, thank you for watching.